I don't normally make videos about drama in the PUZ community, but this has flown under the radar for long enough. Drybones, if you don't know, is a groomer, manipulator, and a cheater. He exploits his audience that doesn't know any better by lying in his response indirectly to them. I'm gonna go through the important things and bring the original context into the picture since Drybones leaves out critical stuff to make himself look better. Dry was banned from the PUZ community on September of 2022 for the various allegations against him, and shortly after, many game-breaking mods for Garden Warfare 2 were leaked. In his response, he denies all responsibility by claiming that it wasn't him and that he was framed. However, this is far from the truth as he's bragged about it before. Skid Be Gone is a mod that sends detected cheaters into the sky, functioning as a homemade anti-cheat. This mod was only available to a small group of people, around 11, and I was part of that group. Other mods that were leaked were the Round Ender, which let the player end the match whenever they won, and buff hacks that allow the player to assign buffs to other players and themselves. All of these were gatekept to try and preserve the game since they could easily be exploited if they were public. On the day it was leaked, a server full of skids began sharing it and it quickly mentioned that Drybones leaked it to them. The thing to mention is that this is an older version of Skid Be Gone, as Drybones rarely updated his mods, and when he was banned from the server, he didn't have the chance to nab the latest version. The mod you see in the messages is the same as Skid Be Gone version 2.0.6. The version numbers indicate how many times the blacklist was updated with new usernames. When comparing the two, they're the same file size and the version numbers are identical. Only the file names are different, but anyone can rename a file. We can confirm that Dry used this version based off various clips he sent before. The way Skid Be Gone launches skids has changed in various versions to counteract ways skids have tried to deal with it. At first, they slowly flew up into the air as a cactus, but then skids enabled their ability to shoot while flying, so in response, it was updated to fling them around, which is the version you're seeing now. When it was leaked, many people flocked to Drybone's YouTube to leave troll comments, and skids appeared to stir attention. And unsurprisingly, they thanked Drybones for leaking the mods, which he responded with no problem, and yep. For someone that was supposedly framed, this is some pretty identifying evidence, but that's still not all. While this was happening, Dry succeeded at framing Ali as the leaker by telling the people investigating that he was the culprit. And while that was happening, Dry sent a laughing gift to Ali out of nowhere to taunt him since people believed it was him before people discovered the version Dry was using. So yeah, all of that and he still denies that he leaked and ruined the game on PC. Another thing I want to mention is that his response to this is plain awful. Under the Skid Begun section, he talks about other people and tries to throw them under the bus to divert attention away from himself. Additionally, he uses Zapzeus as a source that he didn't leak, since he doesn't have the messages. The problem with this is that Zap in the YouTube screenshots acknowledged that you leaked it and you even welcomed him. So this entire section is null. Another thing I want to point out is that during Dry and Zap's conversation, it looks really off. Like, Dry asked Zap a yes or no question, and he immediately jumped the gun that Dry was framed. The entire thing feels sketchy, like it was scripted. Besides being a cheater, he's manipulated a lot of the same people to try and get what he wants, and for flat out fun. For starters, Dry was the culprit behind a lie being spread about a member in the Garden Warfare 2 bonding community called Cosmic Chad. This lie about Chad is that he was homophobic and comes from an old call in the group chat. This group chat consists of Dry, Ali, Plus Doge, and Chad. During a call, the topic of LGBT came up, and Doge made the joke about himself panicking gaily since he was closeted then. Chad asked him if he was joking or being serious, which Dry somehow took as Chad being homophobic towards Doge and began telling people this. Later on, Ali and Doge told Chad that Dry was lying, so Chad asked him directly about it. Dry admits he lies, but calls Chad petty for taking action about it. There's a lot of weird things I want to point out in his response. Starting off with the old one. In Dry's old response, he directly quotes Chad despite this being a call, with no receipts or recordings of it. In his current response, he tries to backpedal out of this by saying he remembered something along the lines of. Again, this is completely wrong. Chad was never homophobic. In the same response that he directly quotes Chad, he also tries to spin the blame onto Doge and Ali by painting the narrative that they told Chad about it to worsen the drama. He also tries to say that he only lied to Doge and Ali in his current response, despite the lie being widely known at the time. Speaking of Doge and Ali, Ali was a close friend with Dry, 
so close that Dry would try to pull Ali away from his friend groups to be with him instead, and even got extremely bothered if they didn't do anything together. Dry would continue to go past boundaries by begging Ali for his modded version of Frosty Editor, since Ali was a developer and created his own version that allows modding Garden Warfare 1 because the original could not. Despite Ali making it clear that he wasn't going to share it, Dry begged and begged. Being unhappy that Ali wouldn't give it to him, he ended up going to Doge and talking trash behind Ali's back to break their friendship as a way to get back at Ali, which worked for a while. Ali and Doge were part of the crowd that originally exposed Dry, with Doge being a grooming victim. To do something back at Doge, he leaked Project Restart, Doge's in-development mod, by uploading a YouTube video with a download link. This video was forcibly taken down when the community mass reported it. He sent more to Doge by using his friends to attack him. Doge used receipts from Dry's DMs to call him a groomer, but since Dry was blocked, he used his friends to force Doge into a group chat to quote unquote explain his side of the situation. This never happened and Dry with his friends relentlessly bullied Doge until he left. Let's hear Dry's supposed side of the situation. For context, Dry had no concept of boundaries. He consistently stepped out of line to strangers and friends by bringing up suggestive topics and making them uncomfortable. In Ali's DMs, Dry would casually bring up how his friend shares the same fetishes as him. You know, something completely normal. Another example of this degenerate behavior is with this DM. While I know the individual that I censored, they don't want to be named. Just know that Dry barely knew them. Anyways, they were venting to Dry about real life issues. And do you want to know what Dry told them as advice? He asked what their fetish was and told them to masturbate. You know, totally normal stuff. The dirt gets deeper with the victims Exotic Arrow and Doge. When this happened, Exotic was kicked out of their friend group and left alone. Becoming depressed, he developed a porn addiction as a coping mechanism. He expressed this behavior to Dry and he took this as an opportunity to groom by manipulating them into erotic role-playing with him. What makes this worse is that none of this is even acknowledged in Dry's response. He describes the situation as a general horniness and does not acknowledge anything else. Doge was another grooming victim. Dry would send them suggestive messages constantly, and it made Doge extremely uncomfortable. He did this so many times that Doge would block him nearly every day, but undid it because Dry would go to Doge's friends and complain about him being quote unquote mad. For some reason, he just can't take the hint that he's a plain creep. He tries to use his age as an excuse, which is so stupid. You are still capable of asking if people are comfortable with what you call sexual jokes. I have no idea how this changes anything you've done. He continues to try and use his age as a defense by saying he shouldn't be making sexual jokes at 15, but I've already explained why this doesn't change anything. In his old response, he links his friend defending him by stating that if Doge didn't like it, he could have just said so. His friend Ungi isn't a good person either and will try to defend any of Dry's vile acts because of their friends, regardless of what evidence is shown. Despite Dry saying he's sorry and looks back in utter disgust, this is far from the truth since he's been found lying to his fans about any of this happening. Dry even made a joke about grooming his audience live during a stream. Seriously, what kind of person are you? You aren't in utter disgust. This is a sick joke to you. You continue to control your audience into doing your bidding because you get enjoyment out of it. While I don't defend T Pig's actions, and I think his call out on Dry was awful, when that happened, Dry's Discord server rallied up and began to raid T-Pigs, and there was no attempt to shut this down when it started. Genuinely, think about everything I've said in this video. Tally up everything he's done. Is this someone that deserves an audience? Your money? I'd think not, yet people blindly follow him because they don't know the truth. When this video goes up, there will be a brand new Google Doc about Dry that has never seen before evidence, so give that a read.